Okay, it's been a while since I played Pokemon Go. I hope my audio is just fine because it is very loud at the back. So, today's plan is... Today's plan is very simple. We're going to do two things. Number one, we're going to catch Cresselia, which is the new raid boss. And I haven't caught it because it's been out for nearly 3-4 days, but... Yeah, I've been waiting till today to catch it for you guys. Another thing is, uh, we're going to evolve another Gen 4 Pokemon. So, I just reached my last research progress. And here we go. Here we go, 2000, Sinnoh Stone, that's what we're looking for. And we're gonna get a Shininja. Nice. Something's happening in the back. <laughs> okay, that took too long to catch this Shininja. Now we have a Sinnoh Stone, and I'm gonna evolve something that I never thought I would be evolving. Another shiny Pokemon. And another shiny Pokemon that I have right now is a Roselia. So Roselia, which by the way, I don't even have its baby Pokemon, which is Badu. Alright, so we have a shiny Roselia here. Shiny Rosary, perhaps? You wanna click it for me? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Shiny Roselia to a shiny Rosary. Unfortunately, I only have one shiny Roselia, so... This is the one, this is the only one left. Oh, look at wow, that! so cool! Purple and black. It looks like Zorro, you know? I like that eye mask and stuff. It's really cool. So, Roserade is one of the best grass type for Gen 4. So, I don't mind actually having this evolution because it's going to be useful, right? So, I need to evolve Roserade and Dustin also. Leave in the comments what you guys want to see next week for me to evolve. Uh, we're going to move on to find a Cresselia. I think there's one just down the street, if you can see here. 18 minutes from here now. 18 minutes now. So we're gonna drive there or walk there or something. I don't know. Okay, we have like three minutes before the eggs hatch. Before we do anything, I have one more evolution to do and it's a Wurmple evolution. Now, this is a bit weird and stupid, but I don't have a Cascoon or a Silcoon because I thought they're gonna be in a while eventually, right? But since like that's not the case, we're gonna evolve one right now. Which one do you think I'm gonna get? Silcoon. Okay. Silcoon it is! Here we go! I want a Silcoon too. Actually, I don't like the, the, the moth Pokemon. Why is all the evolution like... Oh yes! It's a Silcoon! Yay! Nice! Okay, so let's evolve this bad boy to a Beautifly! Lots of new Pokemon today. Beautifly! Woo! Awesome stuff! In the Pokedex. Okay, then I'll do Dust Stocks another time. Okay, we are like one minute away. For Cresselia. Now the thing about Cresselia is that honestly, I never heard of Cresselia until I played Pokemon Tournament. Because I never really played Gen 4. So I'm not really familiar with a lot of these Pokemon, right? So especially the, le the legendary. So Cresselia, I guess it's a fairy type, but slash something, I'm not sure. But it does look like a duck that is meant for Valentine's Day. Look, it looks like a duck that's meant for Valentine's Day. Right. It's pink. Okay, we actually have a lot of players around us. I can see like power banks to a phone. That's a Pokemon trainer right there. Yeah, I mean like it's a moon exclusive Pokemon. I understand it's a moon Pokemon, but it looks like a duck, right? It looks like a duck that you find on your table when you go for a wedding. What? You know those duck that you put on the wedding the table? The swan. The swan, right? Oh, it's not a fairy type. I'm so sorry guys. It's a psychic type. It's a pure psychic type Pokemon. Okay. And Cresselia is down. Okay, max CP is 1633, I think. Do you like that little bow on its neck? I kind of do. Yeah, it's kind of cute with the bow, you know? Yeah. This guy keep moving to the left or right. It's so annoying. I'm trying to catch it through the middle. Yes! Oh, I was so worried. I was so worried, my god. But here we have Cresselia. Okay, another legendary Pokemon from Gen 4. Confusion and Future Sight. It's Wonder with HP. Not bad. Now that we are done with that, the next thing we want to do if, as a bonus, if we can, is to find a Lowland Raichu because that one actually have a shiny version right now. And we have not finished our Let's Go Meltem because I have to battle 10 raids. So maybe I'll like just go into any of the raids and then I'll just enter, exit, enter, exit, enter, exit. So unfortunately, I was not able to find a Lowland Raichu and 
Uh, well, it's a bit hard for me to find these few days because I've been too busy and I've been playing a lot of Let's Go Pikachu. So anyway, right now I'm actually fighting a Shinx and I was hoping to get a shiny Shinx for the longest time and I am trying to finish off my Let's Go Meltan quest because you need to battle 10 raids and last time I used to have a trick where I was like enter a raid right and then lose on purpose and then battle it again and that will be counted as two but it seems like they fixed that bug or that glitch or whatever you call it so now I have to fight one raid equals one battle it seems are you guys seeing the same thing as well so unfortunately I don't think I can finish the Melton quest before the end which is tomorrow tomorrow's the 27 I think so yeah I will missed that opportunity unfortunately so it doesn't matter right now we have two Pokemon that we're gonna find a shiny because there's raids going on right now and I do need to finish the raid portion of that quest there's a Shinx here and that's gonna be a Magnemite if you told me like a few months ago if I will use a raid pass for a Magnemite I would say you're crazy I guess I'm the crazy one here <laughs> wow that's like five people here what is going on I guess we all love that shiny Shinx you know, I swear, a lot of my videos recently has the word shiny in it and I think it's like the keyword for most Pokemon YouTube videos. I need that shiny. Come on guys, give me that power. Chances are low, yo. very low. Shiny Shinx. <laughs> Damn! I can't believe there's another person inside this raid for a Magnemite. What? Okay, you little magnet. Give me that shiny. Give me that shiny. I don't even know what's a max CP though. But here we go. Unfortunately, there was a raid here that's a tier 3 and supposed to spawn, potentially spawn a Alolan Raichu, but it didn't. Instead, it spawned a Vaporeon. Now, all the EV evolutions is a tier 3 boss, so we never actually fought one before, so I guess this is a good time to try it out. I'm fortunate that I couldn't find an Alolan Raichu for this episode. I'm so sorry about that, guys. Uh, but do let me know in the comment section, have you guys, have any of you found an Alolan Raichu? Sorry found a shiny Alolan Raichu. I forgot how strong Vaporeon is. The last time I fought a Vaporeon, I was like level 30 or 33, I can't remember. Okay, all hope is not lost. Today we will try to find a shiny because we have an egg hatching and there's a two quest that will give us an Aerodactyl. Oh, come on. <sighs> Elekid can be a shiny, right? We have two Aerodactyls that could potentially be a shiny. Let's see. First one. Alright, last one. Last one. Here we go. In three, two, one. Duh. Okay, that will sum up my entire shiny luck. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care, guys.